everyone, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined today by John Cartwright and Bell Aim to rate every new Pokemon in Sword and Shield. And I know, at least for Amy, this will be her first time seeing many of these Pokemon. So we'll be using our GX review scale for this, which ranges from hate to dislike to meh to mixed to like to like a lot to love to mind blowing. Will we hate any of the Pokemon or be mind blown by them? Well, let's find out. So yeah, let's go ahead and just start this off with our very first Pokemon, Grookey. Grookey. We've seen him for a while, so you should know a little bit about Grookey at this point. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Amy, you chose Grookey, right? I did. He's getting a love from me. He's adorable. <laughs> mm. I love him so much. I want to cuddle him. <laughs> you know, I, I like all the starters a lot, but I'm I'm so tall on Grookey. He's adorable. Um, hmm. You know, I'll give him a love as well. Aw, yay! I didn't think you'd do that. <laughs> I was guessing you would go like a lot for him. <laughs> I, I do enjoy his design, but he seems kind of basic grass type almost uh, for a starter. Like, I mean, he looks like a starter, to be sure. I mean, maybe it's because we've seen him for how long. Um, but obviously, he wasn't my favorite. favorite. I, that would be uh, Score Bunny. But I do enjoy him. I'm... Mm. I'm going to be the one to go like a lot, I think. It's, oh. a, it's a good design, but a little basic. <laughs> is the way I go. The, the reason I go love is the intro animation when you see all the starters sort of yeah. playing together. That does Grookey's help He's just lot. so adorable there. Mm-hmm. So cute. And the Pokemon anime will help uh, personalize a lot of these Pokemon. Like, you've seen For them sure. in action and moving, running around and all that. That's where they really get a lot of their personality from. Like, you get a bit from the games, but the anime is where they truly stand out. Mm. Uh, still a great design. I'm not going to deny that at all. But no, not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but what do we think of Thwacky? <laughs> a downgrade. I don't yeah, like yeah. Thwacky. Thwacky. I think he is looks definitely weird. the awkward teen. Stage. He's he's lanky. <laughs> he's he's got weird colors. It's like the inverse of of Grookey's colors, and he's, he's just sort of got a second stick. That's kind of his his gimmick. <laughs> yeah, he's tall and lanky, and like this just weird body shape. Yeah, I, I'm kind of meh on on. Is it oh, wow. is it Thwacky? Thwacky. Mm, yeah, Thwacky. Yeah. What do you? What about you, Amy? Yeah. Since you, this, um, you love so Grookey, he doesn't fall that far for me. Honestly, he kind of just like I said makes me think of that awkward teen stage where you know he was this little kid that liked banging on pots and pans at mom's house, and now he's finally figured out. Okay, I got some drums. Let me get the <laughs> second stick in here. And I don't know. I I guess I give him a like. I'll give him a like. Okay. I'm going to fall somewhere in between there because at first when I, when I saw him, I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, I kind of dig the leaf mohawk that he has. Yes, I was just about to mention the uh, Yeah, it, that, that's that's a fun element. and uh, But then there's the colors. Like, that orange they use for him is too deep of an orange. It, it feels like it clashes uh, mm-hmm. a lot with him. And I, I, I do get where Amy's coming from, though, where it's just like uh, this weird teen phase. Like, he's trying to figure himself out. Uh, mm-hmm. Which which is always fun with the starters when you sort of have their you know middle school time uh, in <laughs> there, but so I'm I'm actually going to end up with a mix on this one. It's not like I don't not completely against it. I can see the good points, but it's definitely not a favorite. I despise his feet. Like his feet are now just a block color, whereas Grookey had these um, I guess more of a, a mix going on <laughs> with his body and his feet color. It just I looks guess, super weird. Yeah, yeah the, I guess you're right on that. The feet are. A bit I didn't poor. notice that until you pointed it out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I didn't notice the bright orange until you pointed it out. Don't make me lower my score. <laughs> <laughs> nope, gonna happen. We'll lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> Locked in. <laughs> yeah. Now you want to talk about a glow up, Rillaboom. Mm-hmm. I think this. Like I was so unsure. We're like, oh boy, what's Th- Thwacky's final evolution gonna be like? And then you see Rillaboom. I'm like, yes, done. <laughs> Full on drummer has the drum set. Looks like an actual drum set. Like, I really like Rillaboom. Me too. I agree. It, it's a jarring leap, though. I think all the other starters sort of gradually go into their final form, whereas Grookey's evolution line is just a complete jump to uh, to Rillaboom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. definitely gets more muscly than any of the others. It's, <laughs> he beefs <yeah>. up. <laughs> he beefs up a lot in high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got picked on like you guys, picking on him. <laughs> so he went all the way around, <laughs> went to the extreme. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give him a like to lot, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh. 
What about you, Derek? I I think I'm going to lo- give it a love. I oh, really wow. like this form. I think it's really clever. I like how the the uh, in the game the drum actually straps to his back uh, and then he <gasps> just pulls it out. Um, it, like it's it's just a really fun design. I like his crazy like long hair. Like he looks like a he looks like a drummer in one of those rock bands from the '80s. <laughs> He's a hair <laughs> band. He's a hair band oh my drummer. Gosh. I'm hmm, hearing about how he straps it on his back is pretty cool because I'm getting this really neat Samoan, maybe like Hawaiian That's guy a good point at too. a luau. I don't know. He's really fun. I was kind of in between a like and a lot and a love, but when you said he had it on his back, I think I got shifted into the love category. <laughs> Does he have two like drumsticks him. or just the one? He has two. Okay, I was about to say, if he just ditched um, Thwacky's second drumstick, then that would make Thwacky even worse. <laughs> that would turn Thwacky into a dislike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's time for my favorite, which is Score Bunny. And yeah, I just love this little guy. <laughs> he just has this, this little hot patches on his uh, nose and feet where he, like fire comes out. And it just has this nice sporty look to him. He's always running around. It's I don't know. He's just a happy little Pokemon. And I... I I really like him. I yeah. love him. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the same. When he was first revealed, I was a little bit torn on him. But seeing him in-game, he just has so much energy. Uh, he's just super adorable. I love Skull Bunny. Mm-hmm. Aww. I feel bad now because I like him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you only like um, him a lot? Well, not only uh, in quotes. <laughs> only, I know. I don't know. He's really cute and adorable, and I love his spunky personality. But something, maybe it's the noodly legs or something? I don't know, but... <laughs> Something brings it down just a tad. Mm-hmm. Like he's very he, close to a love, but it's going to get a like a lot from me. He would be a good Sonic character. You'll fit right yeah. in with the Sonic friends. Actually, he would. <laughs> yeah. That's a great point. Yeah, Blaze's little would. brother. And he's all yeah. fast, too. Yeah. <laughs> Blaze's brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like him. Cool. Nothing wrong with him out. Like, nothing standing out. Mm-hmm. I'm torn on the hot patch, you called it. He has more than one, you said? Yeah, somewhere on his feet. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like it or... Or I'm just meh with it. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what's doing it. Because I, I like bunnies' noses. They're so cute. Uh, mm-hmm. I see. <laughs> well, what about Raboot? Raboot! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is my first time seeing him in, up close. Uh-huh. So what do you think? I think he looks kind of like ninja-ish or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of like he's dressing up to be a ne- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, I like the floppy I, I ears. Think I like him. Yeah, I like his floppy ears. They went floppy. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Whoa. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa's ch- trying to chime in as well. Alexa loves <laughs> Raboot. Alexa said she doesn't know about that. <laughs> so I think she's giving it a mixed. <laughs> yeah. What I like is he's sort of wearing a tracksuit. I mean, it's just sort of going out that evolution line where he's sort of training to become like a big soccer player. Uh, or football mm-hmm. player, I should say. I don't know why I'm, I'm Americanizing it. This is the gallery. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I actually quite like Raboot. I don't, I don't love it as much as Score Bunny, but I, would, I think I'd give him a solid like. Yeah, I think I'd follow him with a like as well because I, it wasn't until you actually said it's a tracksuit that it finally clicked with me because when I first saw it, I did think... I thought Farmer Ninja <laughs> because <laughs> I, because the black of the ninja, the face mask thing is like, oh, kind of ninja-like. But then he has those two pockets in the front where he can actually stick his arms in. And I'm like, oh, it's like a farmer oh. with his overalls. And I'm like, okay, a Farmer Ninja. That's a weird design choice. But I'm like, is it going to be like is a, basically a fire grid ninja? Like, are we going to get another, another ninja theme? That's weird to go from sports to ninja. <laughs> uh, but now that you said tracks, he was like, that makes way more sense. So yeah, mm-hmm. I probably, I probably only give Raboot a like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks like he's hardcore into his training phase right here. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. would give him a like as well. A uh, mm-hmm. universal like. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's Cinderace, and I love this thing. <laughs> yeah. mm, he I looks think this awesome. this might be the the best starter evolution. I think mm-hmm. this is a great one. Uh, we'll get to Sobbles a bit later on, but this one just feels like it's sort of the the culmination of the entire lineup. Like, it all makes sense. The entire evolution line just makes sense. It's sort of like building up to this one character. And uh, he still he sort of still has the the, um, the energy of Score Bunny as well. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love how he's a full-blown football star at this point. Because <laughs> when he comes out, he gets on his knees and does, like, the soccer win pose. Like, for mm-hmm. his Aww. roar. So, like, like, whenever they score a goal, he's, like, on his knees, like, Yeah! Oh, and it's cool. it, you know he has this fun special animation where he like kicks a little uh, little pebble around to make it a fireball. 
Yeah, and he just it has looks fantastic great. in the stadiums. Mm-hmm. He just has this great energy to him, and as you said, John, it's a full-on culmination for what they were building to, toward with Score Bunny. It's a nice bit of theming there, so I, I love it. I really do. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I love his ears, the shape that they take. They've gone back up, and they're a little more floofy <laughs> now, and they've got this like tapered look to them, kind of in that flame style, and I really like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he gets... Uh, between like and a lot and a love, mm, I think I give him a love. I really do like his entire overall personality that shines through. Mm. Yeah, I think I agree. I usually don't. I don't usually like Pokemon wearing human clothes, and uh, he's sort of wearing shorts there. But yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it works. Yeah, it kind of looks like he's wearing shorts and then some tights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, time for your starter, Sobble. I love Sobble. Sobble. Sobble, I think Sobble's my favorite first form. They're all great. They're, all these starters are great. But Sobble just immediately called to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little, yeah, little sad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Must protect. <laughs> um, I think I want to give him a love, too. He's just one of those that I want to just pick up and cuddle and make him smile. <laughs> you know, yeah. one, one underrated feature of Pokemon Sword and Shield is the Pokemon camp. Like, just sort of interacting with all the Pokemon. And when ah. Sobble's in there, he very slowly, like, crawls towards you. And when he gets close enough, he just puts on this giant grin. So yeah. I, just I saw that on Twitter way. today. It was really I adorable. I saw it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to get to that part in the game. I haven't got there yet. Uh, <laughs> I but, yeah, I, I was split between um, Score Bunny and Sobble. Uh, when I first came out, because both designs I think are just great, and yeah, Sobble is such a great, it's such a good idea to have this little cute thing that gets sad that makes you immediately want to just cheer it up. So yeah, yeah. I, I got to give it a love. And mm. his intro animation too, where he like cries. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, mm. I think is it Grookey who cheers him up? Yeah, it is Grookey who cheers yeah. him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that got bonus points and, for me too when he cheered him up. And Score Bunny <laughs> forgave him for getting water on him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we have Drizzile, which I think split a lot of people. Was like, oh no, they made him emo. <laughs> yeah. He does look emo to me. Yeah, it's it's super weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense from like a middle evolution, but it's like, what did you do to my darling Sobble? <laughs> <laughs> He had a rough childhood. <laughs> and then we get those weird color combinations again with that lime green on his fe- yeah, feet. Yeah, well, why uh, does he have mittens? I, I don't, don't know. I'm not, uh, sh- I'm not sure about the mittens and the yeah. babies. I spent hours with, with Drizal, and uh, I'm still sort of processing my feelings on him. Uh, I don't even know. You know, just because I'm so torn, I guess I have to say next, because I, I really wow. don't know how I feel about this one. See, I, yeah. I I have to give it a like because I do like the fact that we have this emo Pokemon. It's like, what's the sad boy become? <laughs> eh, he gets a bit emo-ish. It's like, my, I'm drowning in my feelings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I can so see that. But he's also kind of fun because his whole thing is he can form water balloons that he tosses at enemies. And that's how his animation is when he attacks with uh, water, uh, any water moves. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's still a bit of fun there. Uh, I think one of the Pokedex entries also mentions how he's, like, really intelligent. So he's just one of those, like, I'm too smart for this world <laughs> type thing. <laughs> so I think just having those emotions in there, like, you know what? I kind of dig this. I, I like him. Mm-hmm. Mm, I think he's going to have to get a mix from me just because I do feel so mixed on it. Like, there's parts I, I kind of like. And I like you were saying, I like his personality and how he has that emo kid. But at the same time, it's not really calling to me. So mm-hmm. I'm going to go with mixed. Sure. Yeah. I think it's the booties and the mittens that are really throwing me off. And the alfalfa <laughs> sprout on top. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Inteleon, um, his final evolution. And, and when I first saw this, I was like... This is a thin boy. Yeah. <laughs> when I first saw him when he evolved, I'm like, what the heck is this? It like, just <laughs> completely threw me off. And then I read his uh, Pokedex, Pokedex entry where he talked about having like this... Um, basically hidden features and i looked at the, his entry uh, like his name where he's like secret agent pokemon i'm like he became he became a spy that is yeah. brilliant <laughs> you gotta love that he has some I great animations like too um he, he fires water from his fingers i think like he's sort of shooting a gun and it looks super cool and you know what what's really interesting about both sobble and score bunny is both of their final forms kind of have the same sort of like uh i guess sort of is um as their as their first form so it's like they're kind of like going back to the initial form after the middle one changed them. Yeah. So that's kind of cool to see. 
Yeah, he's very sleek and whatnot, but I, th I also think from the arch of his back, he kind of makes it look like he has like a bit of a stomach to him. Like it's just like, <laughs> like a, a little gut. pot belly. Yeah, he has a <laughs> pot belly. I don't think that's the case because he's just sort of that's how he's leaning. But it really seems that way, which is a little bit odd. Mm -hmm. um, but he, I, I love the idea of like, OK, what do we know about uh, the UK? OK, they like soccer. Uh, they have James Bond and uh, all right, the Beatles. Sure. <laughs> that's how we got our starters. Oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. uh, I actually named Gurky Ringo. So that's funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I think I'm landing on liked a lot for this one. It's not as great as School Bunny's Final Evolution, but it's still pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little bit too thin in my opinion he just looks a little fragile because of that mm -hmm. like you could just snap his arm off or something you'll love the next um, one in that case <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah so i think for me he's gonna get um uh, i'll go with a like because he's not quite he's just too thin i feel like <laughs> i don't but i love his story and i love that he's an agent like a 007 agent spy kind of guy that's amazing and i think does he have wings yeah, it, it, well, it's him? not wings, yeah. but it kind of like goes into a, like a flying suit type thing. Yeah, kind of like glides. Yeah. Okay, actually, I'm changing it to like a lot because that's pretty cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can like swoop down to spy on stuff. I mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, so, like a lot. So I love the theming, but the design is not bad. Not my favorite, yeah. but it's still that's decent how I design. Feel. So I'm going to give it a like a lot like the two of you. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I feel the same. Yeah. All right, beyond the uh, starters, we then have our new Rattata Pokemon, essentially, for this game, uh, with Squovet, a squirrel oh. Pokemon. Look at his chubby cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first Pokemon you encounter after getting your starters. So this, mm -hmm. this is, like, one of the very mm -hmm. first new Pokemon you see. And it's, it was just so great, like, just seeing the encounter and then just seeing this chubby, cheap little squirrel up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's one moment in the game where there's, like, um... There's a lineup of people who are being accused of eating some berries. And then Squawfet sort of appears in the background. It's like, you ate all the berries. So that's a bonus. <laughs> uh -huh. It is. It, it is, like, it's the beauty of Pokemon where they can take a simple animal, animal design, change it a little bit, and just make it this adorable, wonderful Pokemon that you just want to hug. Mm. <laughs> I'd say this is my favorite of the Rattata kind of lineup of Pokemon. Mm, agreed. I'll yes. give this... Probably a likes a lot. Yeah, I think I go with liked a lot as well. Like it's it's a bit simple, which is why it doesn't quite get a love. But the design itself and the idea is like, yeah, I, I'm I'm all for this. I like it a lot. <laughs> so I naturally think squirrels are really cute, and I, even though my grandpa would be a little bit annoyed, I'm gonna give this a love because my <laughs> grandpa hates squirrels so much. He's a gardener. And squirrels were like his arch nemesis. But I can he's it. just yeah. so cute. I don't know. I love him. <laughs> I'm giving him a love. Yeah. And then we have his evolution. Greedent. <laughs> Greedent. <laughs> you haven't seen he, he looks like a Warner Brothers cartoon oh character with gosh. his face. He, he really does. does. He's just oh like, hey, kids, I'm going to mess with this hunter <laughs> or this gardener. Uh, you know, this reminds me of two things mixed together. It reminds me of the chipmunk. Woody the wood chip or whatever from Full House, not Jesse, Uncle, the other one. He had like uh, a puppet and yeah. it looks like that guy mixed with the dude from uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Monty? Mont Montgomery, uh, Mo whatever. Something, the Aussie the comments one. <laughs> Someone yeah. in the comments the big, section will the know. Bigger one. Yeah, I'm sure. It kind of looks like the mixed together and he's so funny. Uh -huh. And in Warner Brothers, I'm totally getting that vibe too. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you something though. When he evolved, I took him out of my party. <laughs> I, what? I, I had Squirrel with me for a good chunk of the game, and he evolved. I liked the design enough, but I just replaced him. I didn't want to keep him after this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because of his looks or his moves? Oh, I, it's hard to say. I, I think I loved I loved Squirrel so much that this just sort of felt like a downgrade to me. Um, it just doesn't mm. seem quite as quite as cute. No, he's definitely not as cute. He's a bit he's not sillier. Cute, yeah. um, I mean, he, he, I think he's supposed to be silly because mm. he gets hit at all and berries fall out from his tail. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> cause he's always like, that's his whole thing. He's hoarding berries. So oh those berries gosh. will pop out. And, you know, that's kind of fun. But you're right, John. I do think that the, the design is a bit of a step down. And so I'm just going to give it a... Yeah, I'll stick with a like as well. I like it. I think it's fun and goofy. But... I wouldn't keep it in my party like you. Yeah, I think mm. I agree. 
I like his coloring. I, I think the brown and the lighter brown is pretty nice, but he probably gets a like a lot from me just because he cracks me up. <laughs> He's just so <laughs> funny and goofy. I honestly thought he would get higher from you, Derek, because you like Warner Brothers a lot. I do, but he it... does have that vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I don't know. He just looks like a goofy boy. I don't know. He <laughs> seems like someone that would be fun to laugh with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. Then we have our Pidgey of the generation, Rookie D. And it's just... Aww. I, I think he's adorable. <laughs> I like him. He's a little burb. <laughs> yeah. I like him too. He's a lot darker than most other birds as well. Mm. And, yeah. Um, he, I think he's the least generic. Like Most generations just sort of have your standard bird Pokemon. This one stands mm-hmm. out. So I think I'd give Rookie D a probably a liked a lot. Yeah, it'd be um, it's up there. Uh, I think my favorite of the starter bird Pokemon is still um, uh, oh the fire po- type Pokemon for uh, X and Y. Comes a fire type later. I I really like that one. I thought it was really unique and fun, um, really cute. And this this one has the roundness to him. It really looks like an angry bird. <laughs> take, yeah. a, take off the legs and start watching him from <laughs> oh, a slingshot. Yeah, He's right. an angry bird. Sure. <laughs> I didn't see that until you just said it. I didn't make the connection that this would become Corvi Knight either, because Corvi Knight was um, revealed like right when the game was revealed, mm. and I didn't really make the connection that he would evolve. I just kind of thought he would be just you know just. Overnight, but yeah, of course this is an evolution line. Yeah, um, I, I do like it though. Is the one you were talking about before, Derek? Was it Fletchling? Yes, Fletchling. That's it. Uh, I really enjoyed right. Fletchling. Yeah, that's a cute one. Uh, and then the two cannon line was also fun. So they, they've been doing really good with their bird starters lately. Yeah, the birds I like a lot. Um, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I, I I give this a like. I'm going to go with like a lot for me just because he has that cool attitude. Like he's not going to take it from no one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He just seems like he can defend himself and he's fun. The red eyes are ma- almost a little bit too much for me, but I, mm. I really like him. He looks like a cute little bird you can fit in your hands, like the palm of your hands. And Yeah. You know, I, I love the balance of like cuteness and also just attitude. Like, you can, yes. It, it kind of makes it even cuter that he has the attitude. <laughs> yeah, he really does. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I then, uh, if it wasn't obvious right away, John, when you became Corvus Squire, yeah, this I is what you, I think you knew. Oh. Hmm. I'm, I'm mixed I on this, this one, one, though. Yeah, I yeah. feel like Rookie D and Corvus Knight are both really good designs. This one just feels like a generic bird. A bit of a generic mm-hmm. bird. It does feel like a halfway point between Rookie D and Corvus Knight, so it gets that done pretty well. But there's nothing yeah. outstanding about it. Hmm. Hmm. So I, I'd agree with kind of the mixed rating. Yeah, yeah, I've got a mixed on this one. I honestly thought it was more vulture looking at first glance. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm giving this one a mixed, might even a meh. <laughs> okay, I think our first meh. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm giving. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a meh. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So he just seems kind of dull. Like I wish they had kept some yellow to keep a little bit of liveliness in there before he went sure. total dark. Not a lot. I think maybe yellow i don't know maybe yellow wings or something like the yellow tips mm-hmm. yeah it makes it stand out i just feel like more. something yeah yeah okay. good enough but not you know nothing outstanding mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that all changes with corvinite in my opinion <laughs> i think this is one of the coolest looking birds final bird evolutions in the series it just looks badass it's intimidating yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. i was going to say the same thing <laughs> yeah i i just have to give this thing a love it's it's big. Yeah. It's burly. It's it's a major part of Galar with it being the taxi service. It has an interesting typing with flying steel. I love. I, I really like it. Yeah, I agree. Another love here. Hmm. Looks like a badass crow in my opinion. <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah. Um, uh, for me, I think it's gonna get a like a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's, what's holding it back to, to you? Um. I tend to like the cuter styles, and this one doesn't really have the cuteness <laughs> yeah. going for yeah, there's it. No, it's more evil cute looking. About this. <laughs> yeah. No, so I do like the really badass design about him, but uh, something looks a little bit evil that's keeping me from a love. Mm-hmm. So like the the glare in his eyes. He's got that beady bird glare, and I think that's what's doing it for me. Mm-hmm. Sure, I get you. <clears throat> but other than that, I think it's a much much greater improvement off of Corvus Squire. I love the name of Corvus Squire, by the way. Yeah, Corvus Squire. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, All their names name. are great. They're great. <laughs> Rookie, Squire, Knight, it's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have Blip Bug. And what the? I'm curious what you guys <laughs> thought when you first encountered a Blip Bug. Because <laughs> uh, he's another early uh, one Pokemon. I think it has very defined shapes. Um, if you see a silhouette, you're going to know it's Blip Bug. But I 
don't, I don't really know how I feel about it though. I, yeah. I, are those eyes or glasses or what? Yeah, it's they're those? big eyes, which threw me off because it has those two little arrows right below it, which made me think those were the eyes, and it's just I, it had something above it, like it, it's designed. Oh, in, I thought that was a bow tie. It's that's what it is, actually is. It's supposed to be a bow tie, but because of its design feeling a little, I don't know, because kind of all over the place, it didn't really mm-hmm. click with me what it was supposed to be. And then, mm-hmm. of course, I looked at it a little bit more, saw the Pokedex entry. I'm like, oh, he's a bookworm. I like that. I like that yeah. we have a bookworm Pokemon. That's pretty fun. But the design is a bit messy at, the, at first, so I'm going to have to give this just a like. I, I think it would be ranked higher if I could, if I <clears> would have <throat> came to that conclusion on my own. Mm-hmm. I do like Pokemon with bow ties. That's definitely a plus. Um, <laughs> I like the bow tie, too. I, th- I think I agree with a like. It's not outstanding, but it's, it's still a pretty um, defined um, design, though. I think, for me... I would need <clears throat> more time with him to uh, like him more because it's throwing me off those eyes. Something about them, they're so large and they kind of look soulless for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I love that he's a bookworm. That is great because I love books and reading and I was called a bookworm so I can relate to that. But for me, I think this one's probably going to get a mixed, honestly. The eyes are really kind of bugging me out, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I get uh, someone to do the puns here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love puns, so I'm I'm up for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, how are we feeling about Dotler then? Its evolution. I, I really like Dotler. Dotler. Um, in in motion, I think Dotler sort of um, the little purple spots they kind of light up and glow, which is quite cool. Uh, and it, it's quite typical of like a middle bug evolution. It's, it's like Metapod, where it's just kind of. Uh, I guess getting into its shell and then spouting into something larger afterwards. Mm-hmm. But Dotler to me just it's just a really cool design, and it becomes psychic as well, which is really cool to see in a bug type. Oh wow, mm-hmm. cool! Yeah, I like I like its topping. Uh, it's topping typing. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's topping. Yeah. I mean, okay, Simba. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was a uh, you know I had it on my team. It was a really fun design and whatnot but i still it also was it's it's a middle bug type it's never going to impress me that much because it's always just like it's the pupa form you know it's going to become something greater and this is definitely one of the better ones i like the fact that its eyes look like big eyeglasses uh this is a very nerdy pokemon Mm -hmm. (laughs) um so i'm gonna have to stick with a like i like it more than blip bug blip bug so i'm sticking with uh liked a lot for this one oh wow oh okay um, I like this one. I want to give it a like. I do like the nerdy glasses. It's kind of got that Dexter's Lab kind of look to it. Um, mm-hmm. I can't tell if the things on the side are supposed to be a mustache thing or a little hands. I'm not sure what they <laughs> yeah. are, but they're kind of cute. It looks. I honestly thought it would be kind of a rock type because <laughs> it looks like a rock, like a soccer ball rock. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, it looks weird, so, which yeah. I think is kind of in its favor, though. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of strange. So I want to give this one a like. Okay, mm. uh, and then we have Orbeetle, and <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> I actually really like it. It just became like this weird alien, big brain <laughs> enemy. <laughs> like it's like my brain is going grown so huge, and then my head must compensate. It's just like what a wonderful, <laughs> wonderfully weird idea for it. Mm. Mm-hmm. it. It is weird. I don't know if I like how weird it is though. Mm. I'm just looking at its face, and <laughs> I don't know if I agree <laughs> with its face. <laughs> Yeah, the eyes. What's up with the eyes? Does oh, this thing's definitely evil. On there? Oh, yeah, yeah. No doubt. It's definitely going to be an evil Pokemon in the anime. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah. What do you it, think, Amy? It's got like a ladybug feel to it, which I really like, but then it's got that super evil eyes. Like, if it wasn't for the eyes and the look of the face, I think it would get a little bit higher because I even like the pointy feet. And can he somehow... Like turtle up and get underneath. I don't his think so. Looking thing. No, okay, I don't think so. That's so. Just He's always floating. Alone. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I'm also gonna give a like to this one. Yeah, I think I agree. I'm gonna give a like a lot. Mm. I just I don't know something about it. I just really enjoy. I like the purple and red colors though. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Red Hatters Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we have Nicket. This is such a good Pokemon. <laughs> like oh, I, love, I love, this I love one. foxes so much, and to yes, just see this, uh, like a different type of fox, like going for the more thieving angle, um, and then the the Nicket name is it's 
just so good. The fact that it wipes away its own footprints with its tail, like, and even when it attacks, like, it'll wipe in front of it before it goes back into its standard position, like, really fun animation. Uh, I love this thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Me too. I love Universal it. love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Love it. Name's great. Looks great. I want him on my team. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad that you named it Swiper, by the way, John. Good job. Oh, yeah. That was, that was most of the chance decision, but it, it's a good name. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> and then it evolves into Thievel. Um, oh, he's cute. Which is... Yeah. A fun, a, still a fun design. Definitely not as cute. Uh, my favorite element of it, to be honest, though, is the little mustache it has. Like, mm. it has, like, one of those, oh, like, thin, snidely whiplash okay. uh, mustache near its nose. Uh, and I'm that like, was a mouth. That's, no, no, it's its mustache. Uh, it, it's, mm, is re that's a really nice addition that really sells the whole thief aspect of it uh, that I prefer. Right. I'm, I'm also mm -hmm. torn on that though because the moustache kind of makes it look less cute. Yeah. Um, it would have been mm. cool if there were like male and female variants of this Pokemon and the male one ah. had the moustache and the female one didn't but oh, that's not the yeah. case. Cool. It'd be cool if the female like had more of a mask design around its eyes rather than sure. no mustache. Yeah, like yeah. kept the cat eye look from the first one. Mm. Yeah. yeah that would to be cool. me, I don't like this as much as Nickit, but I still do really like it though, and it was on my team until the end of the game. Wow. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, I didn't even know you finished the game. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm, I'm actually right now, I'm in the middle of the league, like the, the end oh, of okay. the game. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're basically at the end then. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I'm going to give this one a, a light a lot, and I, th I think it's a bit of a downgrade over Nickit, um, compared to Nickit, but it's still a pretty good design, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to agree and give it a like a lot. Um, hmm, I'm torn here, because I actually like the mustache. <laughs> I think that's fun. I like his markings. I like his puffy chest. It looks fluffy. Uh -huh. um, his tail looks a little bit less useful for getting his paw prints like it did before though <laughs> before it looked like uh like those waxing machines that you see in the grocery store oh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> that to clean the floor um i don't know i like his boots too um i'm still gonna give him a, uh, okay i don't know oh, i'm gonna go like a lot okay mm -hmm. sticking with like a lot makes sense because it's a little bit less cute but still i really do enjoy him mm -hmm. uh -huh. well next up is we have our first galarian form uh, with Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon was always a great Pokemon. I, I've always loved the design. But this one, I feel like the, the color scheme really adds a lot of flavor to it. And the entire mm. evolution lines just has a lot of personality. So I, I feel like this is an improvement over the original Zigzagoon. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm actually feeling the same way too. I like the star around his eye. I like the bold contrasting colors, white and black. He looks more puppy dog with his tongue mm -hmm. hanging out. I, I really do. I think I'm gonna give him a love, honestly. He's a yeah. cute boy. I, I don't think I think I don't think the entire line is a love, but no, the, the no, first no. one, Zigzagoon, I love a lot. I, I think that that's a love. Mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. really adorable, and that's the thing about the original Zigzagoon line. It was always fine to me. Nothing that special. It was just sort of there. But this, I think, adds a lot more personality to it, and I, I'm gonna give it a like a lot. Mm -hmm. Still not my favorite, but fun. Uh, and then we have its evolution, Linoon, and uh, still has that tongue out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's still getting a little more, bit more so this time. <laughs> yeah, getting that uh, sleek form. And again, I, 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 I more personality than the original, but you know, not not not, not anything I would probably want on my team. I'd still give it a, a like. Yeah, this is lower for me. It's more badger like than puppy like now. Um, yeah. I think the teeth and the tongue, like the more sort of slender tongue, creeps me out a bit. <laughs> so, yeah, it definitely has a liquor <laughs> vibe yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to go all the way from love for Zigzagoon to just like Fuller Noon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, I kind of, I almost want to go mixed. He's He looks like a badger mixed with a skunk almost. Um, my favorite thing about him is the shooting star pattern from his eye to including that swoosh part behind it. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I think I might go mix just because he looks like he's really going to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like he's going to gnaw on my leg or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, mixed for me on him. Mm. All right. And then we have the brand new evolution, Obstagoon, uh, who is a brand new evolution. We never had this before, and this is uh, quite unique uh, to have that. And I do enjoy him. I like how he's, he's a metalhead. And you kind of mm -hmm. got to appreciate that. I mean, he really does seem to 
be inspired by, you know, Gene Simmons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's made pretty obvious <laughs> at that point. Um, I don't know. There's something kind of fun about him. Still not my favorite. I think the design is fun, but I'd, I think I'd stick with a like. You are going to go to Comic-Con and see people dressing up as Obstagoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Um, but yeah, I think I agree. He's, he's not... Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. Like, they're obviously not going for cute with this design. This is definitely right, going right. to be like a, a rocker kind of take. Yeah. Um, and, but yeah, for me, I, th- I think this is just a liked or maybe a liked a lot. Probably a like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same between a like and a like a lot. I think my final would be a like, though. I like his... Uh, tattoo thing on his arm that's funny uh-huh. and i like the little pattern of kind of flames coming up next to his neck area i don't yeah i think like is good yeah mm-hmm. all right next up is gossifler uh who we saw before the game released and um i don't know i like it it's kind of basic but it's still a fun design yeah mm-hmm. it's just kind of a flower mm-hmm. <laughs> that's basically it <laughs> Yeah, you know, I uh, I like to I do like it, but not enough to use it. So I think I'll just give it a a meh. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> um, for me, I think I want to give it a like a lot because I really like the plush flower petals. They look really cute. It's like a bouquet that you would give somebody because of the the green wrapping area. The part that's holding me back is honestly the I guess hair type thing in the back. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But if it it didn't have as much of that, I think I might like it more. Like if it looked a little bit more like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah. But yeah. I still want to give it a like a lot because it looks like a really cute present. <laughs> <laughs> like, here you go. I don't know. Yeah. And I want to squish the, the, pa- the flower petal. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then we have its evolution, Eldegoss. And uh, to be honest, this took me off guard uh, when, I, when I realized that Gossifler only has one evolution. Eldegoss yeah. looks like a middle evolution to me. Like it's like it blooms hmm. and sends out, and then we get some sort of final form. And there's wow. nothing else beyond it. It's just this cottony form, Ooh. which is fine on its own. But I, I think my disappointment at it not having a third form is what kind of lowers my enjoyment of this one. I guess it's weird to say it's it's weird to say that I don't like it because it doesn't have another evolution. But it just sure. makes the whole line feel incomplete for me. And it's fine mm-hmm. on its own. I'd give it a, you know, I'd probably give it a mixed or a me- oh, I'd like. I, you know, it's fine. I bet there, there's like. one point that changed my opinion on this. There's mm-hmm. there's a cave in the game where Eldegoss sort of floats around in the background. Mm-hmm. And Aww, to me, fun. that, that, that kind of made it, yeah, and it made it seem like a bit more fun, a bit more lively than <laughs> just a flower. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I would go with. Just a light for this one, but I, I agree with Dan. That's a good point. Like, if if this had a final evolution, then um, it would feel more complete, and I'd feel more sort of determined to use it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I feel kind of opposite of you guys. I feel like this to me seems like the final form, and I'll explain why. But I I also am down like um, disappointed that there's not a third one because I think that would have been cool. But to me, when I look at this, I see Grandma. I just see a grandma with a shawl wrapped around her neck and like white hair coming up behind or maybe a shower cap or something. I'm just seeing full on grandma, like Grandma Bear from Care Bears or whatever her name was. Bear, I don't know. But I, I actually like it a lot. It looks oh, like wow. a dandelion that you can, you know, <laughs> have fun in the field. Destroying its know, head, like, blowing it. And- <laughs> yeah, I feel as soon as I said that, I was like, wait a second, die. never mind. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like it. It looks like a soft, cottony flower i don't i like it mm. and it, just hearing john talk about floating around it gets a like a lot for me there okay you go. and then we have one i know i know, I know <laughs> what john is gonna rank this one wulu this <laughs> is the first mind-blowing <laughs> <laughs> wulu is such a good design wulu is just adorable it's so fluffy and um it, it's the first pokemon you see in this game as well i think there's, there's the introduction and then you go into the first town and wulu is right there Everyone loves Wulu. Uh, Wulu's at the very beginning, actually, trying to open the gate, right? Exactly, yeah. 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 And, uh, of course, Wulu and its evolution were in my party until the end of the game. And <laughs> it, it actually does take a little while for Wulu to get properly useful. So I think th- the first moves aren't great. But as it goes on, you can definitely get some great moves out of Wulu's line. 
Um, but yeah, just look at this design. It's so fluffy. I want to just, it's I want a so plush of this. Fluffy. Mm-hmm. Yes, that would make a great plush. Oh, it would be a fantastic plush. And the thing is, I give you heck, John, but I completely agree. This is, this is a mind blowing Pokemon in that it takes a, like we talked about how, uh, Squovet took the simplicity of a squirrel and just sort of Pokemon, fi- Pokemon, Pokefied it. <laughs> I guess the best way to put it. <laughs> Wulu is the same idea, just done infinitely better. Like we have this very fluffy sheep. Uh, unique with the how, how way it has the uh, the braids come down on it besides its ears, and then just the wonderful way it actually moves, where it just rolls everywhere, which just adds to the more <laughs> adorable factor. Plus, it's so fluffy that it can they, the Pokedex says it can fall off a cliff and not be hurt. It's that fluffy. This <laughs> is a Pokemon so cool. you want to hug, and it is it's a wonderful design. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's so cute. I. I'm kind of in between a love and a mind blow for some reason. Um, it's so cute. If I gave it one little critique, I would kind of want the eyes to change from the line to maybe more of a circle. True. Like, they, were, they were trying to keep it sheepish because uh, yeah. more sheep-like in that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I really enjoy this Pokemon. I love the little ears coming to the side. You know, very lamby. It's just adorable. And um, the nose is like a love heart. I know. I love <laughs> the nose. It's so cute. I don't know. I'm in between a love and a mind blow. I don't know. I'm not sure if I should save my mind blow for <laughs> something else. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to give it a mind blow, actually. It's really cute. Yes. Bouncing around and rolling around. I can't help it. Universal mind over. blow. Mind blow. Yeah. I love, I love how it rolls around. Oh, mm. my gosh. Mm. So how do we feel about the bull? Ooh. <laughs> Look at this, this is tougher because it's obviously not as cute. Yeah. Um, it's given Wulu some more aggression, but it, it is still it does still have that sort of cuteness to it, even if there is some more aggression there. Mm-hmm. I don't like it as much, but it definitely it definitely feels like a more useful Pokemon. Like you having Wulu on your team at the end of the game, <laughs> while it would be adorable, <laughs> it wouldn't be like the most like aggressive Pokemon. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's a pretty good uh, evolution, but for me, I think this is probably just a liked a lot. Mm-hmm. I think it's the best you could do for an evolution of a Pokemon like Wulu, where you just have an absolute cutest, and you're, there's no way you're going to be able to keep that cuteness when evolving. And mm-hmm. it still sticks to the themes, still does it well, and I agree, I like a lot. It's 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 a good Pokemon, but it's yeah. hard to it's hard to improve upon Wulu and like make it even cuter. <laughs> <know>. So <laughs> seriously, um, for me, it's got more of a goat appearance because of the mm-hmm. horns, and then. It, the secondary horns? Is that what that is? Yes. Oh, sorry. It has secondary mm. horns uh, underneath its... Uh, yeah, that chin. that's throwing me off a little bit, but I guess it is the more aggressive part. And uh, I like the I like the handkerchief-looking thing with a little tuft hanging down <laughs> the bottom <laughs> under his chin. Uh-huh. Um, I think a like a lot is a pretty good one for this as well, for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. And then we have Choodle. <laughs> Our little, <laughs> our little uh, snapping turtle boy. <laughs> yeah. So we knew about Dreadnought first, and that was the first Pokemon. That's one of the very first Pokemon revealed. So this one was only revealed when when we, when we actually got our hands on the game. And uh, you know, I'm not actually that sure how I feel about this one. It mm-hmm. it looks it has like a monobrow kind of. It does. <laughs> above yeah. its eyes. Yes. Um, yeah. Hmm. You know, I I think this might just be a mare. I yeah. I like Eric him. Likes turtles, so I, I'm interested to hear. I like him. I, I I'm going to give him a like because he does have a fun design. He is cute in his weirdness because he has such like a bubble head, uh, the weird horn on top, and then you know his buck tooth. Like he has these things that individually would be like what the heck, but put them all together and he kind of works. Uh, it's just this like little baby Pokemon that chews on everything and you know butts on things with his horn. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't I don't know it's, it's weirdness makes me like him so I'm gonna give him a like. <laughs> How does he go in his shell though? His head is bigger yeah. than his body. I'm guessing he doesn't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I probably not. I don't see how that would work. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it's a meh because he's it's I don't know it's you know that character design where they have the the nose drip <laughs> where it comes oh, out yeah. the nose like that. It's kind of got that teardrop shape, kind of bulbous. It's kind of like a baby cartoon mixed with a turtle. I I don't know. It's not really doing much for me. And I don't really like the cheeks. They're a little bit on the clown side. Mm-hmm. And I can't tell if he's smiling, grimacing, 
angry, happy, I, I don't know. It's throw me off. It's like when you, <laughs> so. like, your friend has a baby, right? And you look at this baby and they say, isn't it cute? And you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's yeah. what shoots was. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's getting a meh from me. Uh, so how do we feel but about I like the shell. I like the body and shell, I will say that. Yeah, it's more about the face. But anyway. Yeah, the face is throwing me off. <laughs> what do we think about Dreadnought? Uh, it was my least favorite of the initial reveals. I feel. Uh huh. Uh, it, it's good. It's fine. It, it's it's definitely aggressive. It looks like it could take a good chunk out of you if it wanted to. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just sort of mixed on this one. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I, I'd go with mixed. I, he's a very surprising Pokemon because you do not expect it to be as fast as it is, um, and it can be you know a. a pretty good member of the team. I think its usefulness is probably really up there, but as far as its design, it's just kind of like, yeah, it's a that's a snapping turtle. And he's, I, I think his more angular head throws me off a bit. Mm. Uh, it just sort of like, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It leaves me mixed. I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to be opposite from you guys again. I like him a lot. <laughs> he, I love his colors. He's got that really turtle appearance with the big shell, and he looks like he's definitely going to do some damage. I did not expect him to be fast. You said he was fast. Mm -hmm. That's, that's different. I like mm -hmm. his sharp um, protection he's got on his arms and his head, and his mouth reminds me of one of the... Um, robot dogs from a rescue rangers episode that i love where they're oh, yeah. kidnapping kittens there's like these dogs that i know have exactly that what you're talking mouth. about yeah and that was my favorite episode and it really reminds me of that i also really like turtles so like a lot for me i really do like him mm -hmm. he's a, such a glow up from choodle in my opinion <laughs> nice all right time for another fan favorite yamper <laughs> yamper <laughs> is the easiest love I've ever given. <laughs> and you can, the reason he's a love is because there's a heart shape on his butt. And can you get so better good. than that? Yamp is just so adorable. And I love when you see him in the wild, he just sort of runs towards you and just sort of pursues mm -hmm. you. It just looks adorable. Mm. Yeah, I know, I love that. So cute. Also a love for me, by the way. I'm not sure about the colors. Something about the yellow. I don't know. I kind of thought it would be a different color, but... Love him. He is cute. He is such a good corgi puppy. <laughs> mm. He's he is adorable. I lo the, the design is so much fun. It's a very simple, easily lovable Pokemon. Uh, I have to agree with the love. And mm -hmm. uh, I just want to give him a treat and give him a nice pat yeah. on the head. He's a good puppy. <laughs> <laughs> we can play fetch in the uh, in the Poke Camp. <laughs> yeah, there you How go. can you? Oh, uh -huh. fun. So I, uh, but I'm going to actually say something maybe a little controversial. I don't know. I love Yamper. I think I, I like Boltund more. I love... I, I, I don't know. Oh, Boltund looks cool. Yeah, I, I think that's... I mean, of course, getting taller and sleeker and all that. But I, I think that just matches the kind of dog I like more. It was just sort of like this mid-range... Not like overly aggressive or anything like that, like that, but just I think the face is honestly a little cuter, in my opinion. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like him. I like I'm I'm gonna give him a love still. I don't think he's quite to the mind blowing level, but I love him just a little bit more than Yamper. He was in my party at the end of the game as well, so I definitely like this one too. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping he would evolve again. Hmm. I I, th I was hoping there'd be three of these, but oh, he doesn't evolve again. Okay. No, but I think he might be the best dog Pokemon. Yeah, he's great. He might be. There's a lot I out there. I don't know. There. Rockruff is pretty cute, too. Rockruff is oh, pretty true. cute. And then we also have the Growlithe line. There's a lot of good dogs oh, out Growlithe. there. Oh, <laughs> Growlithe. Yeah. yeah. But, no, I think I agree with Derek. This is a love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a love for me, too. He's like the Jolteon dog or something. He's got the spikes. Yeah, and kinda. He's got this like yeah. tracksuit-looking thing on. He looks kind of... He almost reminds me of Bolt. Like, he would be a super fast runner. Like, Bolt... Um, I forgot his name. He's a world Usain famous Bolt? runner. Usain yes. Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, there's a really cool thing as well. Whenever um, whenever Bolton attacks, his tail goes up like a lightning bolt. It sort of wags in really? the air. Oh, yeah. cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah. He's a love. He is <laughs> he, he's getting close to mind-blowing for me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, then we have Roly Coley. I don't like this line. I like line. the name. I don't like <laughs> any of these po in the Pokemon in this line. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, to me, Ro Roly Coley is a a man. I I'd agree, actually, I'm a man. Like it's hard for the geo the geo dudes of each generation to impress me. I, they just never mm -hmm. really do. Roly Coley's a bit fun because he has the unicycle thing going for him, but still unicycle. Meh. 
Yeah, he has yeah, one wheel. Like a little that wheel at the bottom. Oh, there. that's a wheel. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes me like him a little bit better because I was about to give him a side, almost a dislike. I like the wheel idea though, like a Healy. Mm. <laughs> so he's gonna get a, a meh from me as well. So he's nothing's really that drawing to me. Yeah, uh-huh. he's fine. But it's I, I do like meh. the name. That's a fun name. Yeah, Rolly Coley is nice. <laughs> and then we have Carcoal, which. <gasps> I actually really like this guy. That's cool. I, it's like charcoal, but a car. <laughs> oh my god! And the way you find him is in the um, uh, the mines, and he always goes along the like he's resuming oh. along the tracks. That so is fun. That makes him a bit more fun and interesting, in my opinion. Plus, he always has this huge smile on his face. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna have to give him. I think I gotta give him a like. <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to come down on the negative side with this one. To me, he just looks like... I mean, he literally is a car of coal. Yeah. I, and I know that's his gimmick, but I can't see anything but just a, a tray of coal. So, for that's me, this is a dislike. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Gosh. Oh, my God. I kind of like that he is just a car. Of coal. <laughs> a coal of car. Car of coal. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Like, just the weirdness of it makes me like it. Um, hmm... I really like that. <laughs> I might go, I think, like. Going like? I like his his really aggressive smile. <laughs> <laughs> like, the smile is the best part. The smile, and he's, I could just imagine him rolling around and just crack me up. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, a like. <laughs> and finally, we have Colossal. Um, <laughs> which... I like the name again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the names are great. But the design, again, we get it back a bit weaker. I mean, it's... It's kind of what you'd expect at that point with this Pokemon. It's not, not nothing too surprising or exciting. Um, I'd probably just go with another man. This is another dislike for me. Wow. I, wow. It, I mean, it's it's nothing. It, it's literally it's nothing. a pile of rocks with some coal on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel nothing for this Pokemon. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> John is not a miner. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a meh as well something about the coal the the embers coal as a hat i don't really like i think if they had gone like with that design more on the abdomen like having the red coming through those rocks Um. i might have liked it a little bit better Mm -hmm. it just looks strange having that peak in that way i don't know why it's just i don't like it as much so it's getting a meh for me as well Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makes sense uh, okay, then we have the Applin line, Aww, which is it's an apple. <laughs> yeah, it's it's our apple Pokemon. It's a worm and an apple with its eyes sticking out, and it is <laughs> a super strange design. Uh, it's uh, a grass dragon type, which is a fun combination, but boy, is it useless Ooh. in that form. <laughs> Um, yeah. Not really doing oh, much. It is? Yeah. Oh. One one cool thing though that we can't really see in the images that we're looking at is on the back of it. Um, it's, you can actually see like a worm tail coming out of the apple. Mm-hmm. So it, it is kind of cool to see that like, this is actually a creature. It's not just an apple. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, um, I, I quite like this one. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not great, but it's also not bad. Yeah, I I'd, I'd probably give it a. I think I give it a like. Yeah. I give it. A like. Yeah. Yeah, it's I think a, a like from me as well. I actually, if you look at the pattern on the apple itself, I can actually see a, a mouth. Like mm. the point mm. is a center tooth on the bottom, and then the top is kind of more of a gummy yeah. <laughs> yeah. mouth. Uh, so that's kind of cute. I like that. Mm. Uh, so yeah, a like from me. Plus, mm. I like apples. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we have Flapple, which is kind not really, <gasps> but kind of the sword exclusive. Uh, which is the one I had. I actually had a Flapple in my party just because I had dedicated so much time to Applin. And then I thought F- Flapple had a third evolution because I didn't realize the way it was t- handled. Um, and honestly, I never really used him much. I don't think he was that f- uh, fun to use. And I don't think his design is that great. I kind of mm. kind of have to give him a dislike. Ooh. Dislike? Okay. Um, I will... <sighs> Maybe I just because I, I, I didn't that. get a lot of use out of my own game, so that might be coloring my opinion. But yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not feeling that strongly towards Flapple either. I don't think dislike. I think I'd go with Mare, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling much for him. Hmm. 
Uh, what I do like about him is it looks like he just busted out of the apple, and now he can use that as wings in <laughs> yeah. a landing pad. That's basically <laughs> what really... it does do, and he can curl back oh, up really? into it to hide. Oh, I don't. I like it. I'm giving it a like. Something about it gives it a dragon feel, but mm. yet really teeny. Um, I don't really know about the spike thing on his head. Is that what that is? I like think it's one? like a middle. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I still give him a like, I think. Mm-hmm. And then we have the shield, uh, the, the one that's more likely to happen in shield, which is <laughs> Appleton. And I like this guy way more. <laughs> this just, guy's just a dessert. Like, he's like yeah. an apple pie. He is just an apple pie he, uh, with a guy on top of, uh, like, the whole pie, crisscross pie thing on top. And But he's also just a big happy boy down below. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. just, I yeah, know. he's kind of like a really fat Pete. Um the dragon Pete. Yeah, Peach uh-huh. Dragon. Is that what it was called? Peach Dragon, yeah. Peach I forget Dragon. what he's called, but it was Peach Dragon. Yeah, I can't remember his name either. But yeah, Appleton oh. is, I think, is a lot better of a design. Its Pokedex entry is horrifying in that kids used to peel the skin from its back in order to eat as a snack. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Hopefully that's something that grows back and it doesn't hurt him. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but apparently he has an extremely <laughs> sweet nectar around him, so apparently it makes him very tasty. But He must be really docile if he's not attacking the children and just letting them peel his back. back yeah. 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 yeah mm. For me, this, this is a like. Mm. Yeah. I think a like for me, too. I like that Peach Dragon appeal, and he's got that funny cap on his head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of like the uh, the Donkey Kong daddies <laughs> that threw the oranges. Donkey Kong 64. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I like him. Apple pie. He's cool. Yep. Good, good stuff. Uh, next up, we have Galarian oh. Farfetch'd. Ooh. And uh, we did not see him before... Uh, release. We only got Surfetched, and this we have Galarian Farfetch with you know. There's not really a lot to say about him. He's just a darker Farfetch with a much bigger leak <laughs> <laughs> and more attitude. Yeah, way more <laughs> Look attitude. At him. Uh, like wh- he is ready to take you down. The first thing I thought when I saw Galarian Farfetch is like, holy crap, he is pissed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he looks how so would you, angry. How would you rank him compared to normal Farfetched? <sighs> I like the happiness of normal Farfetch'd more, I'll be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one looks like like what would happen to Farfetch'd if you kept ignoring him. Yeah. You know, he's just got that attitude. <laughs> like, I, I think he's just fine, upset Fine, you're not going to pay carry... attention to me? Fine. <laughs> I think he's just upset that he has to carry such a big leak behind him all the time. <laughs> I don't know. It seems to me like he got pissed. Then he went out and found a giant leak. <laughs> he's like, yeah. going to go out for revenge. Time to get you the switch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, definitely like Surfetched more, so I'm going to go with, I think, just a regular like for Farfetch'd. Yeah, same here. Yeah, he gets a like, because I do like it, and I, I love leaks, so that's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, just like for me, but Surfetch'd, I love Surfetch'd. Mm-hmm. Just got that it's about time. big, puffy it's chest. It's about time Farfetch'd mm. evolved. Exactly. Yes. Surfetched is amazing. Got the big puffy chest, got the sword and shield to represent him. It's just, ah, oh, it's so perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's yeah. great. I love the shield, especially. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that's so creative. Uh huh. Yeah, love for me too. Mm-hmm. He's kind of reminding me of uh, Final Fantasy IX um, Steiner. Is that his name? Uh, yeah, right. Kind of <laughs> gives me that vibe. <laughs> that's a good way to put uh-huh. it. Love, I mean, maybe I should just name that my uh, <laughs> Surfetched Steiner. <laughs> it is kind of perfect. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Mm-hmm. I, I really like that. And I, I like how crafty he is because he used the leak so well. Like, he got the core part for the sword and then he used the outer leaves for the shield. I think that's really neat. Mm-hmm. Very mm-hmm. clever. Or for the javelin, I guess. Is that maybe more of a javelin? It might be closer to a javelin, but yeah, either way. He does kind of use it like a yeah. javelin, so makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so what is, is he a mind-blowing then? No, he's a love. A, he's a love. A love, okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm going to give him a love as well. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Next up is Galarian Stunfisk, which um, is this? I mean, a bear trap. Basically, yeah, that's what he is. That's how you encounter. Is that him. a Pokeball in the middle? Uh, there is a yeah. there is a small Pokeball in the middle, which, to be honest, did get me the first time I saw. It. I was like, oh, it's like <laughs> it looks like there's a Pokeball buried in the ground. Same. Let me go check wow. that out, and he does get you. So yeah, he's a, you're, you're, you're in like a cave and um, you can't see any Pokemon roaming around. There's just a Pokeball on the floor. You're like, oh, go get that. Terrifying. And then, uh-huh. all of a sudden, this and then it does, and then the two ends come up and you know oh crap on you, engulf and that, you. Yeah, and that's wow. how that's how you get the encounter. Um, 
I'll be honest, I'm not a big, the biggest fan of Stunfest to begin with, for even his original form. Uh, he's always been kind of weird, this flat Pokemon, and yeah. Uh, and the same kind of goes, like, I like the idea of this bear trap Pokemon. It's weird enough to kind of work, but I'm going to... But the coloring also, like the green in the around it, eh, it doesn't really do much for me. So I'm, I'm going to give this a mixed. Hmm. Why are most of the Galarian forms just darker? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really are. You're the you're the Englishman. Why don't you tell us what's up with this? <laughs> just, just a dark, gloomy world out here. Yeah, it really. Is. <laughs> I think I think I'll just give this a regular like. It's not too special. It's not not nothing too amazing, but it's it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to give it a like because of the design, and I just had to look up what a Stunfisk normally looks like, which I really don't like that. That would get a dislike for me. That thing looks like it is stepped on or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, uh, He evolved because he got stepped on so much. He's like, you know what? I'm, yeah. I'm going back. Yeah, I think that's so creative, like having the Pokeball to lure people in, and I actually like the weird foliage designs on the inside, too, to kind of mask hey, this is a jet regular Pokeball just in the grass. Come on over. <laughs> I don't know. That that alone is getting me pretty excited about this, but nothing more than a like. I just, uh, I think I'm intrigued by what's going on here. Yeah, so. sure. And definitely way better than the original. I do not like that thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we have Galarian Corsola. And... I mean, I know it's Pokedex entry. It's a ghost type because of sudden um, climate change. Aw, uh, bleached coral. And yeah, bleached the coral. But Aww. that face, it's so sad. Yeah. It is so sad. It's so, it's, so climate change is a thing in the Pokemon world. Yeah. They, they kind of make it sound like it might be like ancient climate change, so it's hard to say for sure, but it's still a bit odd. <laughs> um... But that sad face, it's just... Hmm. Like Is it, it pure ghost? It's, yeah, it's a pure ghost type. Hmm. Um, so I kind of like it for the, the theming, I think, does well. But for the actual design, I'm going to have to give it another mixed. Hmm. Just because he, he depresses me. <laughs> he is, yeah, he does. I kind of want to catch it and make it feel better, though. <laughs> yeah. But I don't yeah. think you can heal bleached coral once it's like that i don't it's know if too can, late yeah i don't know if it can recover from it's, that. it's great th- it's great theming i'll say that it's, it's yeah really good theming on that one but he just makes me too sad to, i have to give it a mix does it have an evolution it does okay yeah i think i'll give this a mixed and yeah i think hmm, i think a mixed is a good way of putting it yeah mm-hmm. i like the little feet but yeah. i don't know about the the weird cheek protrudences <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah mixed for me. Mm-hmm. But I, I do like how they go into the theming of ghost because it does look pretty ghosty. Yeah. Oh sure. Yeah. It's just it's sad. Mm-hmm. And next up we have Cur- Curse Sola. <laughs> Curse Sola. Oh, nice name. Um, which this is I never saw sa- uh, in since Corsola is I believe Shield exclusive. I only ever encountered a uh, Curse Sola while I was playing, and I'm like, I not realizing like. Man, they got lazy on the name in this one. Why did they, they just took Corsola and named it Curse? That's weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> but but it was like also kind of like weird. Like it didn't click with me that this was an evolution of Corsola right off the bat. Uh-huh. Um, but I do like how they expanded the design of it. Uh, you got that it's soul in the middle and it's sort of branching out and sort of growing. I don't know. It's it's a weird. Yeah, thing. it's like a potted tree. I kind of like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this one, but um, I do like that you can sort of still see the essence of the Pokemon right in the middle, and then the rest of it is just sort of growing out of it. Almost like it is dead, and something else is sort of growing on it. Yeah, I mean, that's it's basically its lower body is, you know, the lower body of Cor- uh, Corsola, and it's just growing out of it. Like, the top part just grew out into the middle part and branched out from there. It's kind of disturbing when you think about it like that. Yeah, that is yeah. disturbing. And I think it's I a good, like it because Pokemon, of Pokemon, though. It is a good ghost Pokemon. Yeah, I, I, I like yeah. this design more. I think I'm going to give it a like. Yeah, me too. Yeah, same. I like it better than what it evolved from. So, yeah, it looks mm-hmm. more tree-like too, and I love trees. So, mm-hmm. definite bonus for me there. <laughs> all right. Well, we play, did plan on doing this all in one go, but apparently we have a lot more to say about these new Pokemon than we thought. So, I guess we're going to have to make this a part two. So, yeah, uh, I guess come back for that where we pick up with Silicobra and 
maybe go to the end. I don't know if we're halfway through or not. There's a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> uh, we'll see how much we actually have to say. But uh, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more Orn Pokemon, including part two of our rankings or ratings of these new Pokemon and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye. <laughs>